So I'm up in Darwin, um, January. This is my last walk in Darwin and somewhat appropriately, I've got a monsoon shower blasting by. So I'm doing the monsoon forest circuit out to East Point. Um, so yeah, this will be it until my next time up, up north, I guess. Hopefully this shower will pass soon, but I'll, um, I'll break the trekking umbrella out anyway. So this is the monsoon forest walk. I'm gonna follow this across the kind of peninsula or the point and get on a shared path. All right, now I'll turn the camera off because this rain's getting a bit heavy. So monsoon forest in the monsoon. Probably appropriate really, isn't it? And yeah, I can't really complain on this visit to Darwin. I've probably done, oh, I don't know. If you include Kakadu and Catherine, probably done more than 20 walks up here. Probably only been rained on like this on about four or five of them. Considering I'm in the middle of the wet season, it's, a, it's kind of middle of January now. I think I've done pretty well. So I've been seeing a few of these nests around, so they're the home of the orange-footed scrub fowl or the bush chook, as they're commonly known. So this is actually the second walk I've done at East Point in the last year. I did one in the middle of the dry season in July up here, a slightly longer version. Um, and now it's, yeah, mid-January 2024 and I'm doing this. Be interesting to um, compare the two videos. I think this monsoon forest will be similar. But out near Lee Point on the kind of in the old military area, which I'm going to walk through. I reckon that might be a little bit greener today than it was back in uh, July. Jesus, scrub is thick. Imagine trying to walk off track through that. That's my. Um, that's the bushwalker coming out of me. military reserve I was talking about. She's pretty green. I tell you what, there's a, a fair wind blowing out of uh, at the Arafura Sea at the moment.
So um, if you can hear me over the wind, that's the city over there. Armor on this side of the uh, sort of headland. So this tin shed is peewees at the point. If you're um, if you're up here in the dry season, yeah, not a bad spot for a feed and a drink. I've never been. It's too expensive for me, but. My mate James went, he said it, it actually wasn't too bad. Mind you, I think his dad paid. So uh, take that recommendation with a grain of salt. But yeah, it's, it's meant to be really good. Okay, I'm pretty well back to the ute now. Um, that was a wild little walk. So when you see the little map come up, that all trails map, I stick up. The stats are a little bit out because in all the chaos and that big storm that rolled through, it somehow turned itself off. I think it was me probably. Um, so yeah, it probably add about, I don't know, half a K, a few hundred metres to the walk if you're really looking at the stats. But look, it's a pretty easy walk. I'll sign off in a minute and, uh, and tell you what I can tell you. All right. I can see the ute. It's going to come in at about 4.2 on my little uh, all trails, but like I said, at about, I don't know, 500, 600 metres. Be close to 5Ks, I reckon, especially if you do all the little side trips to the um, the outlooks and everything. Um, certainly a contrast to coming here in the dry season, um, coming in the wet, um, but it was good. It was a nice little walk. Last walk for me in Darwin. We're heading south tomorrow. I don't know if these will come up on my vlog in order, but if they do, yeah, expect some stuff from a bit further south in Australia. All right, um, I'm gonna go home and get dry because it's just raining again. All right, catch you next time.